Hello everyone and thank you for watching this video today. This video is titled Emotional Expression and I want to talk about why emotional expression is important in your life and on your spiritual journey and the different things that are kind of interrelated with it and the different aspects of emotional expression so you have a better understanding of what it is. Today's the first day of fall so welcome fall. It's one of my favorite times of year. Actually, it's my favorite season. I was born on November 23rd, so I feel very comfortable and at home in autumn. And um, so I'm excited. I'm wearing my orange, and we're getting the, the colors going today. So to start with, I want you to understand that if you are an emotional person, you hold a very powerful energy and emotional people actually can create huge things in their life for good or for bad depending upon how they decide to focus and direct that emotional energy the reason that i'm making this video is because it's important for emotional people now i may not maybe i do seem emotional to you i'm not sure but I'm actually a very emotional person. On the outside, it may not seem like it because I do have a stellium of planets in Sagittarius. So I have a very positive, upbeat personality most of the time. But underneath that is I have Venus in Scorpio, which is very, very um, intense and um, into emotional processing as well as magnetism and stuff like that. And I have a Cancer rising. So even though it may not appear that I am emotional because I have learned how to balance them in a way where I can still be productive and do what I do on a daily basis, but at the same time use my creative emotional expression in ways that uplift me and build my life up and actually give me more of a a feeling of ease and grace and joy in my life. And that's what I want to help you with in regards to expressing your own emotional nature in a way that is uplifting your life instead of bringing you down. So, um, you know, we go through on the spiritual journey a lot of different things that will bring us into our emotional pain. Now, how we decide to react to that pain, respond to that pain, release that pain, and develop some understanding from that pain is up to us. So I've been doing a lot of work with Amine, which is emotional release therapy, and I'm going to becoming I'm going to become a practitioner of that work, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that work at the end of this video. But that is a form of emotional expression. When we were children, we weren't allowed to express our emotions. We were not allowed to really be who we were at all. And so now here we are on our spiritual path and we're able to open up to our true essence and be the person that we came here to be. And it's my purpose and mission to make sure that the people that do come to me or watch my videos or are interested in my work, um, find the same grounding and the same inner empowerment to allow them to use this spiritual experience for the betterment of their lives and humanity. So like I said, emotions are very, very powerful. And um, most people, because of unhealed wounds from the past, from pain from the past, they get triggered from the outside and react and respond in ways that they don't really necessarily want to. Um, and it's just kind of a, a response or a reaction from unhealed things. So it's important to take this emotional energy and turn it into something because it's all there. There's different methods to opening up this emotional expression. But obviously not all of you are doing Amine or have an Amine practitioner in your area yet. Um, we're working on getting more people in, in those positions. But for now, I really want to give you some tips on how you can turn your more uncomfortable emotional energy and turn it into something very, you know, life-giving and positive and something that's going to push you forward into your greatest essence and truth. 
So I want to explain a little bit about emotional energy. Emotional energy is actually spiritual energy. It's creative energy. And that's why it's so powerful. So a lot of people that don't have access to emotions, like a, a deep well of emotions or um, a very, you know, they don't have a lot of depth, you know, and it, it, it could be that just some people don't aren't like that. But um, if you're watching this channel, you probably are. There's something within you that's very powerful and very creative. So you have the ability to create big things, you know, in your life and on the planet. And um, it's just in being able to turn that powerful energy into something good and that's the key oftentimes we get trapped in this emotional you know whirlpool of never-ending emotions however i want to let you know that you can snap out of that and you can take control of your own life yourself and your destiny it's important to stand in your power to yes listen to your emotions and feel them but what these emotions are coming up for is to strengthen you and to make you the person you came here to be. So by allowing yourself to feel the emotions and then take them and use them for a creative you know, project, venture, you know, even if you want to just paint a picture or maybe you're very creative in communications or writing, whatever it is that's creative, you want to go ahead and do those things. You may have some resistance in doing those things because you haven't done those things in a while, and that's fine. But anything creative that you can do is going to allow you to move this spiritual, emotional, powerful energy. It's very creative, and so it wants to express. So when we stuff it down, we stuff it in our body, we hold it in there, and then, you know, we're just walking around waiting for something to trigger it and boom, it all comes out. Instead of having a triggered response and reaction from the outside coming in to make us react and respond in a way that's not beneficial for us or others, it's good to keep that in balance and to really spend time with yourself, getting to know yourself, getting to know the way that you work. Because that's what's important here is you. You're the important one and you need to be with yourself for a certain amount of time so you can learn to love yourself in a way where being by yourself is actually a gift because you tap into something in your inner knowing, in your inner power that is so beyond anything that anybody else, you know, can offer you or give you or anything and that empowers you and that's the place that I'm trying to bring you into. Now, in the explanation of my intense personality, my intense emotional personality, I, um, I, I wanted to say something else about that, that sometimes people um, get scared of that. And it's like, it's almost like when someone doesn't want to come in and move into their emotions and um, go ahead and express that in healthy ways, people won't, those people won't be magnetized to me. And I'll tell you why, because they're not ready to move into their emotions yet. And that's okay. However, I will tell you from years of experience, blocking it down and, and coming at a surface level is not gonna heal you. And it's not gonna heal the planet. So, and you're not gonna get into that sense of empowerment that I'm speaking about until you move into it. Now, sometimes people get scared because they think once they tap into that, it's gonna be a never ending volcano of emotions and they're just going to get lost in it. Well, that could very well happen. However, it will not happen if you have an understanding of what's taking place. Allow the emotions to move through you in a beautiful expression and strengthen your core and keep coming into your body and keep working and moving forward on whatever information you're getting from your inner voice and your you know, spiritual journey and your whole transformation. So it's important that you let go of emotionally draining situations, people, places, things that you go around and you just don't feel right. You know, you don't feel uplifted. And those would be drains and those would be emotionally draining to you. And so therefore, if you have any situations in your life like that, I would recommend that you don't have to be, 
you know, mean about anything, but just, you know, put up your boundaries, you know, know what your personal power is and just don't allow those things to drain you anymore in whatever way you find that you can do that best. Because again, it's important that you take charge of your destiny. If you leave your destiny in the hands of other people, they're going to lead you into their destiny or they're going to lead you into their whole emotional trip or whatever it is. And you want to steer clear of that. You want to get really, really powerful within yourself and shine your light out. And as we all do this, the world shifts. And we can all come together in a place of balance. And then everyone can relate on that level rather than being triggered here, triggered there. Or someone does something and, you know, we project that it's, you know, it gets messy. So, and that's understandable. And it's good if you can meet people that are on your level and you can communicate these things to them. But this is often not the case. And if it's not the case, it's best to be by yourself than to be in situations that are draining you. So let me just talk a little bit about my experience with Amine before the video gets too long. Um, Amine is emotional re release therapy. I've been doing it since January and it's why my videos have been a little bit inconsistent as um, in the past several months. However, I'm grounding into the work now and so it's, it's, it's settling. Um, now, this is work, it's body work. So if you know about massage, it's, it's not like massage, it's very different. If I could compare it to anything, I would probably compare it to something like a mixture between acupressure, acupuncture, and like uh, shiatsu. However, those work on the energy meridians, and this is not based on the energy meridians. This is based on doorways that are within the physical body where we hold emotional pain from the past. So what happens is a practitioner will press on those points and you will immediately go into some sort of emotional expression because as you take deep breaths, you move into your physical body where this pain is actually stored. And as the practitioner opens those particular doorways, depending upon you know where you're holding your pain, um, you will start to release. And once it releases or those layers release of that pain, they don't come back. So that's what we're working on here. And we can work on that without Amine, but Amine is a very good way to really move into it quickly. So I've been doing the modules to become a practitioner. And a module is I have to actually go there for five days and live on the property. So I've done that four times already. And in that have gone into some really deep work within myself. So that's what Amine is, and I'll be a practitioner in December. I don't necessarily, I'm not going to be involved in actually doing the work on people. I'm going to be more involved in trying to create more um, schools around the world for this work, and also as a spokesperson for the work. And I will, you know, do the work on people, but just not as a profession. So I do want to introduce you to Pat. Pat Jackman is the one who, um, introduced me to the work. She's my teacher and she's an amazing person and I'm going to put her website underneath this video and I did a video of the work if you haven't seen it um, where she does the work on me in a video and so that might be something you want to look at. It might be on her website and if it's not on her website it's somewhere on, on my YouTube channel. Um, and then I'm also going to introduce you to another practitioner who is learning the work and she's going to go out there and start doing the work and teaching about the work. And her name is Yami and she's starting a channel, a YouTube channel, and she made her first video about the work and about what it does. So I'm going to put a link to her video underneath this video as well. And the reason that I do that is because sometimes other people have a better way of explaining things. And I may explain things in a way that you understand, and then maybe you don't understand some of the things I say. And if not, then I want you to be introduced to other people who may explain the work better. So Yami is a great practitioner, and she lives in LA, California. And she is starting her practice. If you are interested in the work and you live in L.A., she is there. And I will put her video underneath this video. 
Okay, so as far as emotional expression goes, emotional expression is creative, spiritual, and very powerful. And so it's really important that you gain control of your own emotional expression. And one thing I didn't mention, if, if you have a three in your life path, this is especially important for you. And you can, you can know if you have a three in your life path by going to the book, Dan Millman's book. Um, hold, on just, hold on just one moment. I'm going to grab it so that you can see. Oh, here it is. And I've also done a video about this, but um, this is the book. The Life You Were Born to Live by Dan Millman. Awesome book. This teaches you exactly... Um, you know, what you need to know about your life path. So if you're a three, you're automatically going to be dealing with things in regards to emotional expression. Also, you'll be dealing with emotional expression if you are in a partnership or a relationship where both your life paths together equal three, or they might equal 12 and then the two and the one equal three. Anyway, I love you all so much. And I hope this video was helpful for you in understanding that, yes, emotional um, people are very powerful. You just have to turn it into power that is for good for your life and for the lives of others. And therefore, you transform it and every day can be a blessing. And that's what it's supposed to be like. So good job on doing the work. I'm really proud of, of all of you. I know you're all really trying and I know... You know, things get hard with this work. This is not easy. And just the fact that you watch these videos, that you're on this path and that you're doing the work is amazing because not everyone can do this. You are a very special soul. And I just really want you to know how proud I am of you. Um, until next time, have a great day.